Want to see a great example of a creative report that you can do yourself? That and more is coming up. Hi, I'm Adam Saxton, and today's Thursday, which means we're going to do our information roundup like we do every Thursday here on Guy in the Cube. This last week, we had some product announcements along with some updates, so let's take a look. First up on the list is a service update for Power BI, and in this blog post, Amanda talked about some of the items for dashboards, as well as quick insights and Q&A. One of the cool features I saw in there is the new tile flow feature. And so when you go to the settings of a dashboard, you can enable tile flow, and when you move tiles around, it will automatically kind of snap them to make them look correct, instead of having it all jagged and all over the place. This is really helpful if you've got a lot of things on your tile and you don't want to move them all around, it'll try and help you with that. So check out this blog post and see all the updates that were there and see if some of them will help you out. Next up on the list is a blog post about the mobile app. So there was a new release for the mobile app and one of the features with this release is the ability to do offline capability. Right now, this is only available with the iOS version of the app, but if you've been looking for offline capabilities, be sure to check this out and see how it works. Next on the list is a survey. I'm actually gonna ask you guys to go fill this out. This is for documentation for SQL Server 2016. We are in the works right now on going through all of the documentation, make sure it's up to date for SQL Server 2016. This includes reporting services, analysis services, SQL database, and more. And we'd love to hear your feedback on what's working, what's not, what you wanna see. Be sure to go take the survey and let us know so that we can make sure that we've got the right documentation for you. Next on the list is for SharePoint 2016. It was announced that SharePoint 2016 has RTM'd and will be generally available in May. I love the little comment on Twitter where RTM was released on Pi Day, so March 14th, and that general availability will be on Star Wars Day. So it's kind of, they're having a little fun with dates. It's kind of fun to see. This blog post has a link where you can download the preview ISO so that you can start playing with it and seeing how it works. All right, last on the list for today, Miguel Myers did some videos for reports that he did, and it was really cool to see how he did some of the like customizations that he did that weren't necessarily allowed through custom visuals, but it was this idea of overlaying actual images with transparencies and putting that on top of actual like bar charts. So if you wanna see how you can be creative with reports with Power BI, go check out this video. There's actually a few of them on his channel that talk about how he actually did this. I thought it was pretty cool. All right, let me know down in the comments below which item I talked about was your favorite, or if you had an item that I didn't talk about and you thought was pretty exciting, go ahead and leave that in the comments as well. And as always, the links for all the items I talked about are in the description box below. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Every Thursday I do an information roundup just like this where I take a look at the last week, find items that were interesting to me and share that out with you. And every Tuesday I take a look at a technical item where I either look at how something works, how to troubleshoot something, or take a look at a new feature. And really, this is about you. I wanna help you be more effective and successful in the things that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.